Look out, guys. Look over there. There is lobster. There are several types of vegetables that can be chosen as food for freshwater lobsters, including carrots, kale, bean sprouts, pears and dragon fruit. Adequate vegetable intake will have a good impact on the body and appearance of the lobster shell. This is blue whale. A blue whale is sleek and will glide through the water, McClellan writes. A right whale has a huge mouth that they keep open, so they have much more muscle, relative to a blue whale. This is puffer fish. Several species of fish have unique ways of protecting themselves, one of which is the puffer fish. Puffer fish avoid predator attacks by inflating their bodies until they are very round like a ball. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish are radially symmetrical animals and generally have five or more arms. Starfish do not have a skeleton that can help them move. Their skeleton serves as protection. They move using a water vascular system. This is a moray eel. Moray eels fertilize by laying eggs, which means the eggs and sperm will be fertilized outside the uterus, in the surrounding waters, which is known as spawning. More than 10,000 eggs are released at a time, which then develop into baby eels. There is an octopus. Octopuses have eight arms, not tentacles, with suckers in the form of concave dots on the arms which are used to move on the sea floor and catch prey. The octopus arm is a muscular hydrostat structure that consists almost entirely of layers of boneless muscle. This is manta ray. Manta rays also swim by moving their wings up and down, like birds in flight. These wing-shaped fins help them explore the waters and also help in finding food. Well guys, look! This is Gurnard fish. Gurnards are a lean, firm, white-fleshed, prehistoric-looking fish who belong to a species known collectively as Trigliidae. Gurnards are bottom-dwelling coastal fish with a spiny armored head and finger-like pectoral fins used for crawling along the sea bottom. There is crab! Crabs are not predators, so they don't need to move quickly to catch prey. To protect themselves, crabs only need to bury themselves in mud or sand. There is a mouth bass. Large mouth bass is a highly adaptive fish and can be found in a variety of freshwater habitats, including lakes, rivers, and swamps. However, this fish prefers habitats that have dense vegetation. This is lemon shark. The lemon shark, Nigaprium brevirostris, is a fairly large type of shark that is distributed in two different oceans. When mature, both males and females can grow to around 2.4 to 3.1 meters and weigh around 100 kilograms. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs are synonymous with beaches. However, it turns out that not all hermit crab species choose to live near the sea. There are those who spend their lives on tropical land, generally belonging to the Coenobitidae family. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish can eat many different prey, such as planktonic eggs, small plants, small fish, larvae, fish eggs, and other small marine animals. Apart from that, jellyfish are also prey for several other marine animals and even humans. Well guys, look over there. This is dolphin. These dolphins have complex neurons that lead to self-awareness and recognizing and solving problems. For example, dolphins are able to play with games, solve puzzles, tools, and so on. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spotted stingray is not reef compatible, and so it needs sand as the substrate, 
because if any coarser is used it can scratch the underside of the fish, and that can lead to infection. This is a Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. There is a clownfish. These intelligent, curious fish offer educational rewards, especially for children who are not familiar with fish or aquariums. Because clownfish in a home aquarium are not under the constant threat of predators, they can roam. This is a dugong. The way dugongs reproduce is by viviparous or giving birth. Dugongs will be ready to breed once they reach 10 years of age. The duration of pregnancy for dugongs is 12 to 14 months. This is squid. All squid have a tube-shaped body, a fully developed head, and 10 long arms shaped like suction cups. These hands are useful for trapping prey and then tearing it apart using its strong jaws. This is ammonite. Ammonites were the predators of their time, feeding on most living marine creatures including mollusks, fish, and even other cephalopods. By analogy to modern cephalopods, their method of attack probably consisted of silently stalking their prey, then rapidly extending their tentacles to grasp the target. Well guys, look over there. This is Hammerhead Shark. Hammerhead sharks are one of the predators that rely on electricity to detect their prey. The use of electricity allows the hammerhead shark to attack repeatedly even if its vision is obscured by blood or mud. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurs evolved around 100 million years ago, and diversified by 66 million years ago. This sea monster is thought to have become extinct and a giant asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, plunging the world into darkness. This is Garfish. Alligator fish can grow up to 3 meters long and weigh up to 350 pounds. This fish, which has the scientific name Spatula atractosteus, has nothing to do with alligators. This is Gulper Eel. Gulpers are soft-bodied fish with tapered bodies, long tails, and greatly expandable stomachs that can accommodate large prey. Gulpers are usually solid black, and some are provided with light organs. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. The Spotted Eagle Ray usually eats fish, crustaceans, such as crabs, shrimp and hermit crabs, it also eats mollusks such as bivalves, sea snails and octopus. Spotted eagle rays have special teeth for crushing shelled mollusks. This is a puffer fish, he can inflate like a balloon. There is a stingray. The first uniqueness of stingrays is that their shape is not like fish in general, but actually resembles an airplane. These animals are characterized by a flat and wide body shape, which makes them look like planes. Thank you for watching guys.